हेलो एवरी वन आय एम डॉक्टर सपना चिलाटे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सांगू काना ठाकूर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड सायन्स कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज पोलरोग्राफी ॲज वी ऑल नो पोलरोग्राफी इज अन व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टेक्निक इन अॅनलिटिकल केमिस्ट्री सो टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द पोलरोग्राफिक टेक्निक इन डिटेल सो इट कम्स अंडर द इलेक्ट्रो अॅनलिटिकल टेक्निक ओके सो वॉट इज एक्झॅक्टली मीन बाय इलेक्ट्रो अॅनलिटिकल टेक्निक दिस टेक्निक इज यूज फॉर क्वालिटेटिव ॲज वेल ॲज क्वांटिटेटिव डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ व्हेरियस सॅम्पल्स ओके सो इलेक्ट्रो इन इलेक्ट्रो अॅनलिटिकल टेक्निक द अॅनलाईट इज डिटर्माइन ऑर द कन्सन्ट्रेशन ऑफ अॅनलाईट इज डिटर्माइन बाय अप्लाईंग द पोटेन्शियल इन टू इन अॅन इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल ओके अँड द करंट इज मेजर्ड अँड दिस करंट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द अमाऊंट ऑफ कन्सन्ट्रेशन और अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सटन्स और अनलाइट प्रेजेंट इन अ अनोन सैम्पल सो इन टुडेज टॉपिक टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी द टेक्निक ऑफ पोलरोग्राफी इन डिटेल सो वॉट इज एक्झॅक्टली पोलरोग्राफिक टेक्निक इट इज अ बेसिकली वोल्टामेट्रिक टेक्निक इन विच केमिकल स्पीशीज कॅन अंडर गो ऑक्सिडेशन बाय लुझिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑर कॅन अंडर गो रिडक्शन बाय ॲक्सेप्टिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अँड दिस अकर्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ ड्रॉपिंग मर्क्युरी इलेक्ट्रोड ॲट अँड अप्लाईड पोटेन्शियल द पोटेन्शियल अप्लाईड इज रेंजेस फ्रॉम झिरो टू मायनस थ्री वोल्ट सो वॉट इज द एक्झॅक्ट प्रिन्सिपल बिहाइंड दिस टेक्निक here we are increasing or applying the potential in between the two electrodes and the current is recorded as a function of concentration it uh, this technique can be used for both qualitative as well as quantitative analysis by using this particular polarographic technique we can determine different inorganic organic and biological sample without any prior separation step so uh, let's uh, study the history and background of this technique this was uh, created by the scientist jaroslav hevoski in the year 1922 and he was awarded with nobel prize in year 1959 so the basic idea is uh, uh, of this technique is the pa- passing of electric current in between the two electrodes one is having large surface area and other is having the small surface area and uh, uh, in this particular case both electrodes can be made up of mercury metal the large electrode here we are using a pool of mercury at the bottom of the cell and the small electrode is a drop of mercury coming uh, uh, from a fine capillary uh, that is dropping mercury electrode and a steady voltage is applied in a such a way that a reproducible current voltage curve is produced this is the instrumentation technique in which uh, the electrolytic cell is developed by uh, in between the two electrodes uh, the cathode uh, here the polarizable electrode which we are using is a cathode and uh, which is uh, the dropping mercury electrode and another is saturated calomel electrode which act as a reference electrode uh, the electrolytic cell is developed in a such a way that this is the capillary tube and uh, uh, here the nitrogen gas is passed into the electrolytic solution in order to remove the uh, dissolved oxygen if present so all the system is measured in a uh, it is uh, developed in such a way and this is called as the electrochemical cell so if you see the working of the uh, entire system or polarographic cell uh we take a dilute solution of electroactive material which we have to be analyzed for example uh if we uh, uh, take a cadmium cadmium chloride solution uh to which we external potential is applied the potential is applied ranging from 0 to minus 3 volt here the positively charged ions present in the solution will be attracted towards the mercury drop and the total current will be flowing through the system is recorded as a uh, total sum of the electric uh, electrical and diffusive forces when the applied poten- uh, potential or voltage is increased current has been recorded and we get a particular sigmoid type of the curve this uh, current voltage relationship is known as polarogram this is the typical polarogram uh, here we can see the different reason residual current then limiting current and diffusion current there is a chances of small migration current is also there 
so now let's study the different region in polarogram the residual current it is due to very small faradic current or due to the impurities present in the cell or uh, which is called as the uh, which is also due to the helmholtz double layer then there is a small production of migration current which is due to the migration of cations to the cathode after that uh, we are mainly interested in diffusion current so the actual diffusion color current is due to the presence of electroactive species present at the surface of the uh, mercury drop and uh, due to which there is a formation of concentration gradient and of course there is a formation of limiting current in a small that is uh, because of the uh, that is due to the concentration polarized then the point of inflection in the curve is known as half wave potential which is the characteristics of particular element and this is the main uh, qualitative aspect of the analysis and the diffusion current is measured is directly proportional to the concentration of a particular compound which is uh, which is the main uh, uh, role which plays under the quantitative analysis now the polarographic measurements can be governed by the ilkovic equation if we have to determine a concentration of particular substance we have to use or we can calculate by using the ilkovic equation uh, so what is exactly the ilkovic equation it is the re linear relationship between the diffusion current and the concentration of electroactive species which is present in the solution so ilkovic equation can be given as id is equal to 607 n d half m raised to power 2 by 3 t raised to power 1 by 6 c okay so here id is the diffusion current in micro amperes n is the number of electrons uh, required or involved during the reaction d is the diffusion coefficient in square centimeter per uh, second then c is the concentration in millimoles per liter then m is the mass of mercury t is the drop time in seconds so what are the different advantages of polarographic method as a uh, as a uh, analytical method okay so organic and inorganic samples can be analyzed by using this particular method uh, even a very low concentration of samples uh, right from 10 to the power minus 3 molar to 10 to the power minus 4 can be determined this is a very rapid technique and uh, qualitative as well as quantitative analysis can be easily performed by using this particular technique and if the mixture of compounds are there which we have to analyze for example cadmium lead along with this or uh, different elements are present that also can be determined by using this particular technique uh, now what are the different factors which can affect our diffusion current so the very first important factor that is the concentration so diffusion current is directly proportional to the concentration of electroactive species then second, the temperature so it uh, if the temperature varies uh, the diffusion current can also vary so uh, as it is directly proportional to the temperature then viscosity of the medium is also plays a very important role because diffusion current also varies with the change in the viscosity of the medium then capillary characteristics uh, as we know the capillary should deep inside the solution and the size of the capillary should be minimum so the bore size of the capillary and the drop time uh, that should be in between 2 to 7 seconds drop time and the pressure of mercury all these things can affect the diffusion current also the presence of maximum suppressor uh, like uh, substances like gelatin dye stuffs and surfactants can also affect the diffusion current now there are the different applications of polarographic technique uh, if you have to determine dissolved oxygen and peroxide uh, that also can be determined there are so many pharmaceutical applications also trace metals and uh, metal containing drugs can be determined by using this particular method antiseptics in insecticide then vitamins hormones can also be determined by using the polarographic technique blood serum and uh, cancer diagnosis can also be done by using this particular technique uh, now these are the different uh, advantages of polarographic technique a uh, very small quantity of sample as we know can be uh, determined or required for this particular analysis even turbid and colored solution can also be analyzed by using the polarographic technique and there is no need of prior separation of the compound sufficient sensitivity for the determination of trace elements and uh, toxic impurities is the main advantage then high speed of analyte which is the most important of quality control department so with this uh, 
polarography is an very important technique and it plays a vital role in analytical technique so thank you uh, student